Have you ever compromised taste for limited space while on the road? Today, world-renowned home cook Ethan Jagossi is going to show you how you can have the best of both worlds. What's up, folks? It's Sam and Lauren, the trailer couple dedicated to this simple life. And Ethan Chabowski. And today is another sunny day to live in the burrito. Today we're gonna walk through the iconic California burrito in California, in the burrito. It's gonna be pretty awesome, and it's actually really easy to make. A lot of components can be pre-made, which is perfect if you don't have as much space. Burrito on three. Burrito! burrito. All right guys, so the California burrito is really just a couple of components. It's gonna be some carne asada, which is very simply seasoned and then grilled flank steak or skirt steak. And then kind of the signature component is gonna be french fries. Of course, you know, if you were at home, maybe a deep fryer, you might wanna make your own, but we're, we're not gonna make our own here. So we've got some frozen french fries. We're gonna throw them in the oven. They're gonna be perfect. We had them nice and crispy for mixing with all of our other toppings. And that's really the last component. You want a nice tortilla, so we'll talk about that later. And then you really just wanna throw some, some things on that you find interesting. Pico de gallo, avocado, we got some sour cream. We'll walk all through those. But first, we've gotta get this carne asada marinade going. And it's really simple. It's just lime juice, salt, and then I'm gonna be adding garlic to mine. All right, so carne asada, super simple. It's literally just steak, typically flank or skirt. And then it's just lime juice and salt. Like that's really all you need to make it good. And then high heat. So what we're gonna do now is just get a marinade on and we wanna marinate and also salt this pretty heavily. Salt your steaks ahead of time, you know, 45 to an hour if you have it. And then next, we're just gonna throw in a bunch of lime juice. So a fun fact about Ethan is that he's really good at spike ball, but Try Sam to. and I are better. We're probably, we're probably close to 500 under. record. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we're, maybe we're 60, 40. This is basically just like a marinade. It's going to really not move into the surface at all, but it's going to externally season it with, um, you know, get some acidic components in there, which is really nice. So I'm going to save one half of these limes to actually spritz over this after it's cooked, but I'm all, am also going to put on a bunch of garlic. Um, some people use garlic and carne asada. Some people don't. I really like garlic. And then this is just gonna sit for about 45 minutes, I would say at least, and then we'll we'll grill it up and come back to that in a bit. So we're gonna do fries. Make sure they're in a single layer on there. The way that fries actually crisp up is the moisture in there has to steam out first. So if we don't give any space for those fries to steam, they're never gonna crisp up. This is real life right here. Yeah. Okay, Woo. so we, we got that we got that sorted away. So while we're waiting on the meat and the fries, we're gonna explain tortillas and we're also gonna walk through some of these toppings. These, like you can clearly see they're transparent. You can see my hand behind it. What these translucent is, is actually fat built into the uh, flour tortilla. So they've got like lard in them. So if you can find, you know, fat striated flour tortillas, this is what I would go for. And last thing is you gotta figure out your toppings. So I've made a couple of different things that we're probably gonna add to ours. First up is just some chipotle sour cream. And this is literally chipotle's in adobo, lime juice, sour cream. It's the simplest thing, but it's one of the best additions to a burrito you can have. Next up, we've got pickled onions. If anyone has seen my channel, they know how I feel about pickled onions. You can put them on anything. Nice acidity, a little bit of crunch. They're a perfect addition. And then we've got some pico de gallo, which is just onions, tomatoes, and some jalapenos, and then some lime juice in there and salt. We're gonna toss on some cheese. And then lastly, we're gonna do and mash up some of this avocado. And those are really just the toppings that we have. You can pick a bunch of things. All of this stuff can be made ahead of time and have in your fridge. So we're gonna check on the fries. Okay, pull them out. Pull them out. They're crusty. They're hot. They're hot. <laughs> so this is perfect. We're gonna toss these into a, just to set them aside and then we'll do another batch just so we have enough for multiple burritos. Those are good. Yeah. All right, and then right before we actually throw this on the grill, I'm actually gonna dry off the exterior um, just cause a lot of this excess moisture will kind of stop it from searing up as well. So another fun fact about Ethan is that he watches Fenton. Now Ethan tells us that he doesn't let Fenton sleep in bed with him, but we all know that's a lie. It's never happened. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've got our outdoor cooking set up just over a fire and we have this cast iron skillet. And the way that you can check to know that it's hot enough to see your steak, because we want this to be really, really hot, is to use something called the Leiden frost effect. And basically you just spritz water on your pan. And if it separates into bubbles that actually sit on the surface, you know it's hot enough. That happens at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just gonna splash a little bit on the pan and hopefully these separate into little balls and you can see how they're moving around. That's how we know that that pan's gonna be hot enough to, to see our steak. 
So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in this to help that sear. This is gonna cook really fast. It's pretty thin steak, so we're just gonna look for a nice sear on both sides. And then go from there. You can see we've got some nice browning on the edges, and that's just gonna, that's part of that Maillard reaction. It's gonna give it just more of a beefy taste than this kind of gray area. And we're gonna flip it a couple times just to kind of develop as much of that as we can. Fun Why fact not? about Ethan is that he only drinks Topa Chico. Oh, my man. He drinks more Topa Chico than actual water. Oh yeah. All right, so if you wanna come closer in here, so basically, this cut, the muscle fibers are running straight up and down this way. So we're gonna cut across the grain or perpendicular to that. And the reason why is pretty simple. So this is a cut across the grain. And we, we basically shortened all those muscle fibers. So it's just gonna flake apart really nicely. But if we cut with the grain, that doesn't happen. We basically, all of these muscle fibers are still there. So this is super stretchy, gonna be hard to chew. So that's why you always wanna kinda cut across the grain for these whole muscle cuts. For this avocado, we're gonna just sprinkle a little bit of salt into it and kind of mash it up and season everything. So we've got everything, and like as you can see, you could literally make all this stuff ahead of time, but now is the most fun part, the time to actually assemble. For me, what I like to do is actually get something like kind of sticky down, like one of the sticky toppings. So I'm gonna put some chipotle sour cream, and I'm gonna try to put it towards the upper third just so we have more, more space to roll. Then we're gonna go big handful of steak. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna make these meaty. Like they're gonna be, they're gonna be big. I'm gonna go cheese right over the steak. Hopefully there's a little excess heat from the steak still to kind of partially melt that at least. And then every California burrito has, has to have the biggest handful of fries. Huge handful of fries. Then we're gonna come a little bit of, we'll go a little bit of pico, nice spoonful of our seasoned and mashed guac, a little bit of pickled onions. Everyone's favorite. Yep. <laughs> Acidity, crunch, they also just look sick. And then we're gonna do a little more sour cream with the top. Not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to roll this. I feel like I might have got ambitious on this stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So I'm gonna try to shimmy a little bit, flatten it a little bit. Then I'm gonna tuck in the sides, and we're gonna go big roll over the top, and kind of hit these sides in. It's gonna spill out a little bit, but that was beautiful. Pretty. Mine is not gonna look that good. Yes. All right, so not too bad. I got a little split here, but it's fine. And then now I'm gonna put this on on here just to kind of seal this edge in, and also make it a little bit crispy. Wish me luck, team. Gotta get that good tuck. He's gotta commit to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's the perfect roll. I've seen better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the signature the signature Sam roll. Little opening. Yeah. It lets... A little preview of what's inside. <laughs> Big roll. Big roll, go after it. Honestly, that one was pretty good. That'll pass. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, you can see like we're just sealing up this edge and like if you didn't do this step, this would probably be flying off, but now we've got it nice and tight in there. And then we're ready to eat these. Taste test. Taste test. Three, yep. two, one, go. Mm. I think Spencer wants some burrito. It's really fun. It's really good? Mm hmm Two thumbs up. Fun! Fingers! Wait. Two thumbs up. I love a burrito. You that so fast? That's what I do. Please check out our friend Ethan's channel too. He has all the best videos for home cooking. Thank you, Ethan. My for pleasure. Today. Got to make some burritos. Thank okay. you, my friend. We're going to keep eating, guys. Cheers. Burrito cheers. See you next time. <laughs> You can see we're getting starting to get some nice little brown bits on the. Jeez, smoke got right in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> got demolished by that. <laughs>